get to that finish line, clutching chicken number two. Get chicken number one across this start line aboard radio controlled Moan. Oh, not numbered chickens. So that's going one way, you're going the other. You're going to have to swap chickens with the remote controlled Catherine. OK. You must sit on the office chair at all times. If anything touches the little robots, your attempt is over. Oh, these little robot things, they're brilliant. Yeah, little robots there. Your time starts now. OK, ready? Come on, move along. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Sorry, I didn't press off. I didn't. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Wow. That's how you do it. That's going to take some beating. Well, I thought it was going to be really hard to do. Moan comes in, he made it look like everyone does it at home all the time. <laughs> it was so natural. He went up for exactly the same speed as the remote control golf caddy. Yeah, but they've all been raised with that yeah, technology. Exactly, yeah, exactly. What chicken remote Who have controls? I mean, mean, because he's slightly younger. How old are you? 28. I'm not even that young. It's ridiculous <laughs> to suggest you look young, dressed as you are as a college professor. <laughs> <laughs> Silently make the tastiest and prettiest cocktail with the coolest name. If you make any noise over 60 dB decibels, you must pour anything you've prepared into the bucket Shout, I'm so sorry, at a volume of over 100 decibel. Shout failure at a volume over 100 decibels and start again. <laughs> I've never made a cocktail That's before. too loud. What? Really? I've never made a cocktail You have before. to shout, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry! That was too loud again. What? No. Yes, it's all recording on the... I literally just picked up a melon. So what are you? I'm really sorry! Pardon? I'm so sorry! Thank you. Yeah, that was too loud. What?! I'm so sorry! OK. I'm so sorry! So sorry! Yeah, too loud. So sorry! So sorry! Well, that, um, I think you need to pull them away now. So sorry! Do you think wine and milk go together? No. So sorry! There were keys in the pocket. Why did you put keys in your fleece? Why would you do that? Uh, I think I found a loophole. I don't like how happy you are. You've called it bin juice. <laughs> and because it's like it's from the bin, yeah, yeah. And there's lots of flecks of mud in it. <laughs> and the hair. Yeah, there is a hair in there. Do you want to try some? Uh, no. No? No, I never drink that shit. <laughs> it's literally at the bin, dude. No, it's quite a dirty bin, isn't it? Yeah. Thanks, my one. Cheers. Bye bye. Oh, very well done. Nice. Very well done. I've started a new list as a result of watching your cocktail making. Mm. It's called Questions That Don't Need an Answer. <laughs> and number one is, do you think wine and milk go together? <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, well, I can tell you they don't because they all ended up in the bin. Wine, milk, egg, orange. Oh. Hair. Lovely bit of uh, garnish with the old uh, beer bottle top as well. <laughs> yeah, relevant. There was a real theme going on there. <laughs> the, like, catchphrase to it would be, it'd be bin juice getting trashed. Oh, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so there's a whole advertising campaign behind it. I mean, this is going to be pretty straightforward, isn't it? Mawan, five points yeah. for bin juice. Yeah. OK. All right. All right. I've never said all right before. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, you're good at it. Thank you. <sighs> Make... <laughs> I hate stuff like this. Make the biggest beer mat house on this table. Whilst making your biggest beer mat house, you must ring the doorbell after exactly one minute. Then after exactly 58 more seconds. Then 56 seconds and so on until zero seconds. So basically two seconds down. Biggest beer mat house wins. If you make more than two mistakes with the doorbell timing, you will be disqualified. <sighs> Your time ends when you press the doorbell for the last time and starts now. It's just stress, man. Oh, you need to go and ring the doorbell. No! <laughs> I don't want bothering ringing the doorbell. <laughs> OK, do you know what? Two, one. What have you got there? Got the doorbell. Now then. Yeah, great. Jammy. You're a lot more relaxed now. Yeah, I think it's because I've got the, the doorbell here. It's really alleviated a lot of stress. Ah! I've cut my hand. There's blood on the doorbell. Cut oh, hand. Stop putting gloves on the doorbell, Richard. <laughs> I'm starting to see a doorway. Let's try for a second story. Need a lot more room. Oh, shit, I've got to the doorbell. I'll go over this door. <sighs> Do you have anything that turns? Something that turns? I've got this. Double-sided tape. Oh. Thank you, Richard. There's the house. I mean, blood and sweat and tears have gone into this. Don't mean to brag, but it's a work of art. This could be your finest hour, I think. Mm. The bell alone. I watch four people in here go... <laughs> 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 this is the lighthouse that he constructed. Here it is. Look at that. Amazing. I said, oh, wow, it's a windmill. <laughs> 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 Make the largest object properly vanish. Largest object to properly vanish wins. You may not use any editing trickery. I don't know any editing trickery. <laughs> you have one hour. Your time starts. There should be one more word. It's vanished. Mate, that's so clever. Behold, a large animal. Now you see it. Now you still see it, but maybe... You're looking at the wrong animal. Where'd the cow go? <laughs> Are you watching? I sort of... I understand <laughs> what we were supposed to do now, yeah. How did he push it into the hedge in that short amount of time? <laughs> You'd already beaten Daisy by putting the duck behind you. <laughs> How did he do it, though? I'll show you how he did it. There was no camera trickery. There was some trickery, like this. You're looking at the wrong animal. Where'd the cow go? The cow was never there. That's brilliant. I mean, come on. Thanks. I don't usually milk things, but, you know, when you oh. know the idea... Hey, cow gag. <laughs> hey. I didn't even know I was doing it. <laughs> Get the most water from butt A into butt B. You may not move a butt in the first five minutes. You have ten minutes. Your time starts now. What? Uh, OK. Uh, do you have a hose pipe? Yes. Yeah, that would be great. Uh, OK. 
Can I stop the bleeding? The bleeding? Yeah. You can try. No, no, OK. How, how long has it been? Five minutes has gone. Ah. Ah. Why are they so hard to move? <laughs> All right, that wasn't part of the plan. You going for underneath? Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. Cool, man. This isn't breaking any rules. We're okay. going from this one to that one. It's quite unorthodox. Sorry. Sorry. So, so sorry. Very sneaky. Very sneaky. Amazing. <laughs> Well, A, it's no surprise to me that a man that thinks that um, ducks have got lips <laughs> might think that barrels bleed, sure. <laughs> but introducing new water, that is one fresh idea. Yeah, the water was going from barrel A to barrel B. It's one fresh idea. It's one <laughs> fresh idea. <laughs> He's got a win, hasn't he? A does got a win. 16 inches. Well, oh, it's up to my knees. <gasps> I really need these points. Five points to my one. Daisy is second with four points, Richard third, Johnny fourth, Catherine again, one point in last place. But Moan wins! <laughs> <laughs>